Lumos. Hi, I'm Gita Lovegood, and this is my series, Port Keys Inside and Out. Today, I'm going to be doing the Hufflepuff Common Room. Just a heads up, this is my like sixth time doing this. I know you Hufflepuffs jinxed me. Thankfully, I've got a Hufflepuff on my side. Bridget helped with the unjinxing. Thank you so much. All right, hopefully this will work. If you're seeing this video, it worked, and Bridget helped me get into your common room. <sighs> All right. Let's jump into this video. I am also going to make sure to throw in some of my original reactions just because they are more fun than, you know, me re-recording. And at the very end of this video, I'm going to throw in a couple extra clips from the Slytherin common room that I forgot to include in my last video. So for this one, it seems like the bug that's going on for me right now is the perimeter that we see that I'm breaking in these videos is being thrown down way below and it's picking up that the floorboard is like right here on me. So I am going to throw in some clips with AR plus mode off just so you guys can see things from the right perspective but I'm also going to be exploring things. This has been the constant bug that I've been working with. I'm gonna go up close so we can still see things like we want to. All right. So, right over here, first, we have, first I wanna point out that there are a lot of stained glass windows all over the common room. They're all just these tiny little windows up top and those are what are creating the sunbeams. Hufflepuff common room is down in the dungeons next to the kitchens. So that's why you guys have bread rolls on the tables and different things like that, because you guys are like, you guys had the ultimate munchies as people like to say about Hufflepuffs. Um, you guys also seemingly have three entrances, which I find super super interesting you also have two different types of carpets so that's super fun and there are plants literally everywhere <sighs> all right let me see hmm i'm going to walk out this entrance really quick and we're going to go ahead and get that outside perspective before i walk around Badger, badger. entrance there there's the entrance that I'm right in front of and there's the other entrance so I'm wondering if this is more magical like the room of requirement where it's going to put you out wherever's most convenient for you and if it's like um, another ploy to trick people out of being able to find their way into the Hufflepuff common room which would make sense why these videos have been working out this way. <laughs> you guys have all the tricks. Oh, beautiful, beautiful carpentry. And then you've got these like dangling vines, just, it, it's almost like those beads that are hanging over doorways that are just fun and you just get to like walk through. That's very nice. 
Oh, I'm super in the floor because I'm up the steps. So oh, that is helpful. Now I'm down a little bit. <laughs> Um, let me go over here. I am going to throw in quickly my first reaction to these couches right here. Oh! This little badger that's carved in? Oh, that's so sweet! Oh my gosh, is it on the other side too? It is! I want this couch! gosh, how comfy! These beautiful, beautiful badgers carved in. Somebody please make this couch for me. I would love it. <laughs> ah, and I got kicked out. This is what's hard. I'm not able to see that border. As you guys could see when I stepped out, it's so far below. I literally have no idea when I'm stepping in and stepping out of it. probably where the border is so I'll just stay here I know the Sun is backlighting me but that's fine all right so I'm not sure why these would be here other than hold, hold these plants but this is a very fun addition what plants are those are those tulips I can't quite tell I'm trying not to get into the border again so don't mind me standing a little bit more still all right. I love the Helga Hufflepuff portrait you guys have. Ooh, it looks like there's some bread rolls right here. Some nice comfy cushions. Those comfy cushions are literally everywhere from what I've seen. Uh, what are these? Are those just part of the vines going across the wall? I can't quite tell what that is that's like damaging the wall or like making it look more um, weathered. Let me know if you know. All right. Got a nice little table here, probably with some empty bowls and cups from the kitchens. Some empty, oh, nope, those have plants in them. All right. Here's your second little, um, carpet right here. This one is more reminiscent of the ones that are in the other common rooms. Oh, I love this dresser that you guys have with all the books on it and of course I love the symmetry going on there but this just like it seems very everything seems so homey you're gonna hear me saying that so much. I guess I entered again all right, last time, and I'm going to um, turn it around a different way so that hopefully I can see different stuff. Okay, I think I'm on the other side, safe and sound. All right, so we're at the other entrance. There's just so many tables and couches everywhere. And I love that one that's just like, almost like um, a booth type of chair. Oh, this would be super, super grounding, which is very appropriate for the Earth um, house. <laughs> if you guys don't know, Ravenclaw is the air house, Hufflepuff is Earth, Slytherin is water, and Gryffindor is fire. Oh, those bread rolls look so yummy. You can see like, oh, they miss me. You guys do the same, scooch. Scooch away. Scooch away, I said. <laughs> I said scooch away. Away, away. Thank you. All right, that's enough. Saved another day from bird poop. All right, here we go. Back to the video. Whew. 
I love that there are these bread rolls right here that you can see just like the powdered flour on. Oh, I want to break those open with some and like lather up some butter on them. Yum. E. Oh, and there's the Hufflepuff crust over the fireplace as it should be, as it has been in the other common rooms we have seen so far. Oh, my favorite part right here on this couch in the middle of the room. It's on the back of that one um, dresser that's holding all the potted plants. We have this super, super comfy, it looks like a comforter that's Hufflepuff colored. Oh, so nice. All right. I think we have seen just about everything. This is my sixth time going through, so like, forgive me if I have left anything out. If I have, call me out on it and I can include it at the end of the next video. I really don't mind doing that. Here is the ceiling for you guys. Oh, 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 oh GPS. Okay, it bounced me back. <sighs> oh. It looks like a somewhat low-lying ceiling. Lots of books over here. Yep. I would enjoy this common room a lot. I feel like it would be very comfy to study in. It would be very comfy to just like hang out with your friends. And I want to know what that protection is. Why do you guys have three entrances? Let me know in the comments down below. And let me know what your favorite thing about this common room was. And let me know if you were the Hufflepuff that jinxed me and made me do this six times. <laughs> Just kidding. It's, it's interesting. I feel like this last time was the best time, so it worked out in the end. That's all for now. Until next time, you guys know what to do. Make sure to use your magic wisely and keep an eye out for those Dementors. Protego Totalum.